There has been no shortage of drama and tension in downtown Manhattan this week at former President Trump's $250 million civil fraud trial. And it's not just Trump bringing the drama. New York Attorney General Letitia James has been going after him, too. And that's the question I have. Should a state attorney general who has the power of the government behind her be getting into the mud with Donald Trump or, or any other defendant? Two of them have been taking jabs at each other all week, which is, of course, expected for Donald Trump. We have a racist attorney general who's a horror show who ran on the basis that she was going to get Trump before she even knew anything about me. She should probably be dismissed also because she's terrible and grossly incompetent. That's Trump being Trump. And the judge has ordered him, for example, not to go after anyone on his staff. But should Attorney General James be publicly responding going after Trump? Trump's comments were offensive, they were baseless, they were void of any facts and or any evidence. What they were were comments that unfortunately fomented violence, and comments that I would describe as race baiting, and comments unfortunately that appeals to the bottom of our humanity. Trump's continued attacks on social media, clearly getting under Attorney General James's skin. I will not be bullied. And so Mr. Trump is no longer here. The Donald Trump show is over. This was nothing more than a political stunt, a fundraising stop. And now we can continue to fo go forward with our trial, and we are confident that justice will be served. Unlike the first three days, Trump didn't show up to the trial today, but on True Social, again, called James racist and incompetent. He also posted a video of her from 2018 when she was actually campaigning for the job. America is an uncharted territory. We are angrier and more deeply divided than we've ever been at any point in our history since the Civil War. And at the eye of the storm is Donald Trump, ripping families apart, threatening women's most basic rights, and running for attorney general because I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. Even on the night she was elected in 2018, she called him a con man and pretty much foreshadowed what she's doing today. I will be shining a bright light <laughs> into every dark corner of his real estate dealings and, uh, and every dealing demanding truthfulness at every turn. Now, I believe those comments before she was even AG undermined her objectivity, but you can still read the claim for yourself and determine whether you think they have the goods, watch the trial, et cetera, regardless of who the prosecutor is. But for James to badmouth Trump now, as the attorney general, during a case she brought, feels wrong. This isn't about turning the other cheek. It's, to me, about the obligations and expectations of the state's top prosecutor. Joining me now, Chris Hannan, attorney, former senior aide to Senator Chuck Schumer and News Nation political contributor, who is not troubled by James's comments. You're not troubled at all by her making public comments about Donald Trump or any other defendant in a case like this? Donald Trump is not any other defendant. And we need to stop playing by the Marcus of Queensbury rules with him. And we need to be responding to his ridiculous behavior and calling it out for the American people to see at every turn. What he said about the clerk of the court was ridiculous, it was sexist, and it wasn't even the worst thing he said this week that should be responded by everyone who has a voice in America. The man put a Nazi trope on his truth social, saying that immigrants were weakening the blood of America. He called out Paul Pelosi, who was recovering from being attacked in his home. The man is a danger to okay. the republic, and Letitia James and everyone else who has a platform should call him out for what he is, and, and a con man so, so, who so, is bad for America. So do you, you don't think she has any additional obligation? I mean, Jack Smith, for example, lets his pleadings speak for themselves. He speaks out in court, et cetera. He doesn't go on the courthouse steps. 
yelling and screaming. Donald Trump's calling him deranged all the time, et cetera, saying all sorts of horrible things about him. You don't see Jack Smith out there doing this. Jack Smith is not an elected official. Letitia James is. And I think she has an obligation to tell her constituents the truth every day and respond to personal attacks against her and her staff. And I think that she's doing the right thing by calling them out. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.